One of the first things you need to learn if you're interested in shooting sports and action photography is how shutter speed works. How that shutter opening and closing affects the movement of something crossing in front of the lens or coming at the lens. I'm going to demonstrate different shutter speeds right now. The camera is set to one second. This is an SLR, this is a film camera. That's why you can see through the back. You wouldn't want to try to open up your digital camera to do something like this because it, it'll ruin it. That was a one second exposure. And now I'm going to show you a half second. And what we're going to do is go through these and then I'm going to talk about uh, stopping action and how that works. This is a half. Okay. And I'm also making this video so that I can show students how to use slow shutter speeds and when you want to do that. For example, in the dark or if you want to do special types of assignments, special types of creative photography. This is four tenths of a second. It's rare that you get to see this anymore. It's nice to be able to show my students what it looks like. This is an eighth of a second. Seems pretty fast. Not fast at all when it comes to sports. But all these speeds are useful for different things. This is one fifteenth of a second. One thirtieth. One sixtieth. Still too slow for sports, but good for other things. Again, all these shutter speeds are useful in some way. One one twenty fifth. It's pretty fast, still not fast enough. Think of a person running by the camera lens while the shutter opens and closes. The longer it stays open, the more it's going to blur them. You need to freeze them. And what the fast shutter does, it opens and closes so quickly that it freezes the, the action. This is 1 2 50th. Pretty fast, but generally not fast enough to freeze a football player running by or a high jumper going over the bar or anything like that. A tennis player striking the ball. Let's do 1 500. Now that was quick. You may not have even seen the shutter open and close, but it did. This is the slowest speed that I would usually ever use to shoot sports. This is one one thousand. Fast, huh? Let me do it again. That is the kind of shutter speed that you can use to freeze action. I generally shoot at one one thousandth of a second or faster to freeze sports. Let's look at it one more time. 